Hey guys, have a viewer requested video here where one of my subscribers wanted to see F11 versus Shine Armor versus Solution Finish versus the last coat, Sarah Trim. So I have yet another panel from a Chevy Avalanche. This one is black, and I, there was a gray and a black version. This is the black version. It's very f sun faded, very dirty, as you can see. This is the way it, it arrived to me. I was able to find one on eBay for 50 bucks. I said usually they go for over a hundred. So this is uh, this is the way it looks. It's got a lot of stains in it. It's uh, got some some bird droppings, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna clean it up using Adam's panel wipe or panel surface prep, which is essentially an isopropyl alcohol. I scrubbed it with a brush too because it was I was really struggling to get this perfectly clean. So that uh, using a couple different passes with it, see if we can get it absolutely perfect. As we get into this test, I want to remind everyone that all of these products have been paid for out of my own pocket. I'm not sponsored by anybody. You know, these weren't sent to me, nothing like that. So there's no bias here. I'm just going to present the facts and go from there. We're going to apply two coats to each with one hour in between coats. You'll notice F11, it, uh, it, almost immediately goes back to what it looked like prior like it almost isn't isn't really restoring or covering whatsoever uh, when I installed shine armor it was very difficult to get a uniform finish with it and as you can see if you look closely on that panel it's not very uniform looking uh, solution finish it is the one of the only ones in the test here that is not a silicone based product it is more of a solvent and it has carbon black in it which is where the black color comes from and Ceratrim the my only complaint with Ceratrim is that it seemed like you needed a lot of product in order to get it to fill in like all the little crevices on this panel if you had more of a smooth surface you probably wouldn't need as much but I just I found myself using quite a bit so after the first coat I'll show you here what things look like and as I said earlier, F11, even though it says it restores and protects trim, again, along with paint and everything else that it says, when you compare it to these other three, it doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot. So we're going to wash it 10 times and we're going to see if how things hold up, if it really is protecting anything. But from a visual standpoint, it definitely doesn't look as good as Shine Armor, Solution Finish, or Ceratrim. Now Shine Armor, it the the uniformity, it was really hard to get it that way. So now we're we're gonna jump into second coat. So you can see watching the F11 panel, you can see it's as it dries, it it goes right back to the way it looks before. Shine Armor again, the uniformity of it, it was hard to even after the second coat, hard to make it all looking uniform. Solution finish, no issue there, and TLC, no issue as well. Wanted to show you the bottle and the labeling of each of these and what they claim to do. So F11 top coat, everybody's heard and seen it. It's heavily, heavily marketed. Um, it says you can put it on everything. You can it shines, protects, enhances any surface, including paint, plastic, rubber, etc. But one of the things that really caught me off guard on this, if you look at the very bottom, the last line, it says, reduces surface drag, enabling improved speed and fuel economy. So apparently this will improve your fuel economy. Yeah, I would like to see a study on that. On to Shine Armor, it really has no claims or anything, just says it lasts for weeks. Apply it and it says avoid using ex uh, excessive using, do not focus on one place. So I guess that's where that uniformity comes into place. Yeah. So on to Solution Finish, it says it restores conditions and protects vinyl, rubber, plastic, originally black surfaces. So not intended for gray trim, it's intended for black trim. Natural oil, silicone free, use it with 
gloves. It will stain your hands. And finally we have the last coat, Sara Trim, and it says it's a ceramic powered trim restorer for plastics and rubbers. It needs to be very clean, so you need to wash it or you know, as we did, we did an isopropyl alcohol wipe several times. And as far as application, it says it uses ceramic technology, put it on and layer it. It doesn't actually have instructions. So Sarah Trim did say to buff off the excess, so that's what I'm doing. It's been sitting here for a few minutes after the second coat. Take some of the gloss off as you can see. And of course any excess on top of that is going to rinse off when we wash it here. I'm going to let the panel sit for a couple days and then we're going to wash it 10 times. Okay, so two days have elapsed here and I'm fighting the Texas summertime heat here. It's 103 degrees out, which is almost 40 degrees centigrade. So after this, I'm going to move it into the shades. You can see after the first wash, first rinse, didn't even wash it yet. So part of solution finish is coming off. That could just be the excess that wasn't rubbed off. We'll find out here shortly. TLC looks good. Shine Armor it looks like it's still there. Now we're going to go and wash it 10 times. Set a little music here for you. Now we're going to bring it inside, dry it off, and look at it. So F11 completely gone, Shine Armor completely gone. You can see where the tape lines used to be, so maybe there's very little there, but I'm considering it gone. Solution Finish has this little blotch here, and I don't know if that was from the panel being in such poor shape or not, but uh, Solution Finish still looks okay, and then the last coat, I am quite impressed with that product. Uh, well done guys that that that's a fantastic result after 10 washes which is the equivalent of two and a half months of washing and that's not including any exposure to the Sun the UV but I mean look at how it compares to the other three Wow well that'll wrap it up as always I want to thank my subscribers for the suggestions for this video and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Smash that like button, and of course, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm not going to do a long-term test on this, as we have these same products except for F11 in my ongoing long-term trim restoration test. So this may give you a sign of things to come on, on the other three, Shine Armor, Solution Finish, and The Last Coat. So there you go. Thanks again, guys. See you soon.